A lot of you guys have been recommending this platform to me. Now I finally have the chance to try it out, make a review about it, and see if it works for my type of work. From the title itself, I'm gonna give you a detailed review of Doodly, and as usual, we're gonna take a look at its ease of use, pricing, and effectiveness. Now, if you've already gone through a cup and channel, you know that I also have Toonly. I have the pricing link below and I have the $6-7 license for both Toonly and Doodly. If you want to know my thoughts about Toonly or you want to do a comparison, just check out the review link on the description box or you can find it on the suggested video above. For this review, we're going to be working on a short marketing promo ad that I would most probably use for cup ads. Anyway, let us go through Doodly's features. It claims to give us professional looking doodle videos in minutes and it says you don't have to be a very technical person. But I do think, in my initial opinion, people who would be interested to purchase the platform are more into the creative field and they don't usually create good videos in minutes. But we will see. From this moment on, I have not used Doodly at all. So I really don't have any idea. But that would make this review very transparent since it will be coming from a fresh perspective or from someone who hasn't tried this famous whiteboard animation software. Okay, moving on its features, as they claim on their website, you can easily click and drag the elements and the hand will automatically draw the image for you and you get to choose the styles of your board, whether you want it to be whiteboard, green or blackboard, and even glassboard, which I personally think would be my favorite because it looks more engaging and less likely to be imitated by other softwares. And this is where it gets more interesting. Like Toonly, you can easily upload your own elements if you're not satisfied with their ready-made images. Now, this is something really great because it doesn't limit you to using the platform alone. You can outsource your own font, your own logo, your own illustrations, and that is so important. Especially for branding, it makes the platform so dynamic. Like It gives you a lot of freedom for the elements that you want to use. So let's head over to the actual Doodly application and start with our project. This is what it looks like. I have made a trial project, although I haven't really done anything. I just had to familiarize myself with the platform so I can at least show you the workspace. We have here another tab beside our projects. These are the templates. There are free and paid templates. I'm going to open at least two videos to show you guys. We've noticed that there are brackets, which are basically are the guides where you can put your text on or customize the elements. Now I'm interested to see another template for a mobile application video, since I have an upcoming project that is very similar to that one. You know what, I'm quite impressed on their overall concept and presentation because we know that when you're marketing a mobile application and your way of execution is an explainer video like this, normally you really have to start with a problem and the storyline goes. The new mobile app will solve the problem, would make the life easier for the users. I personally think the creators of Doodly did a really great job in this part. Now, since my short script is more on digital marketing as a whole, I guess it would not be too difficult for us to find the right elements to illustrate straight what I want to achieve here. So before we start, let me just walk you through the workspace. Here I have all of my elements on the left side of my screen. You can find the categories as well. The scenes, the characters, props, fonts. Doodly only provides three font styles, but I have uploaded some of my own fonts previously simply because I'm just not liking the font styles that we already have in this platform. And then there's the audio library, which are pretty a lot. And you can even go to your marketplace if you need to get more. But obviously, we're not going to do that right now. On the right side are your tools to customize the layers or each element. You can adjust the duration of your animation, the scene settings. 
The timeline of Doodly isn't very much attractive, to be honest. It's Facebook ads and even on their website, everything seems to be colorful, so I was kind of expecting it to be filled with colors. But now, as you can see, the timeline gives the same vibe as any Microsoft offices like MS Word, and somehow, because of that, I'm not very excited. But let's see, maybe it will let me produce something great and attractive whiteboard explainer video. Okay, I will start with a typical whiteboard background for now. Let's just name it short promo. You can change the resolution or we can also do that later on before we export our final video. I would like to start to dump my scenes first since anyway, there are not too many, just three to four scenes. As you can see, I only have very short liners. The first scene should have a bored man while watching a video. If we type in bored, these are what we get. You know what? I really love platforms with search bar in it. Especially if there's a lot of elements, it saves you so much time from scrolling down till the end. And because of that, I am able to get my character quick and easy. And then we can add a chair where he sits on. Now I'm starting to believe that you can create videos in minutes with Doodly. The elements can be found very easily and there's no lapses in his response time at all. The same thing with the next scene. I want a character that is so happy. So let's search for a happy one. And as you can see, a lot is showing. I'm gonna choose similar person with the glasses to keep the consistency of the video. Okay, let me just fast forward adding my scenes. After putting all my scenes together, I really believe now that you can create a video with Doodly in just a few minutes. I didn't have much trouble to be honest, but of course that's without any enhancements yet, without voiceovers or additional music and sound effects, which we're still gonna add. I just really love these kind of platforms. As you've probably heard a lot from my videos, I need to maximize my time. So if there's a technology to help me speed up my productivity, I would grab it. Next one, I am now gonna add my voiceover which I would advise if you have a longer video to start with it. Put it on your timeline to make sure the scenes are synced from the beginning. But since again, I just have very few scenes in my, in my project, as I said, adjusting them wouldn't take much. Obviously, I have a very short voiceover, so what we can do is we can reduce the duration of the animations of each element from the layers, or we can simply drag the scene to make it shorter. But first, let me arrange my layers, like you can put the first element that you want to be drawn on the top. So in my first scene, I want the chair, 
and then demand and text. And I can customize the duration of each element or illustration. Again, because I have a short voiceover, it doesn't mean I need to reduce a lot of duration for my scenes. I can cut apart from my VO and then move it to sync to the second scene. The only challenge is to sync the text to what the voiceover is saying. But we can do that. It's to make the shift to a more interactive approach that actually convert to leads. And there you have it. To end my video, I should add our Cup and Ads logo. For uploaded images, there is an edit button where you can customize the path or how you want to hand to draw your image. So I'm gonna try that one now. I think I will start to create a circle path. As you can see, I'm on the experimental stage here. So on the side is a preview of how it will be drawn. And I can even adjust the path to make the drawing closer to a circle and smoother when the hand sketches it. That is so cool, but I guess I still need to learn more of its trick and how to play around with the custom path. Lastly, for background music, I'm just gonna choose from the auto library. There's a lot from here. Let's say if we go for this one, we can adjust the volume and add some fading in and out. It's time to make a shift to a more interactive I will just finalize my music, I think I will change it, and then we will see our final video. Forget about long, boring videos. It's time to make the shift to a more interactive approach that actually convert to leads. Let's put your business to life. My final thoughts on Doodly, in terms of ease of use, I have no words. It doesn't give me any buffering or you can drag and drop your images, adjust them smoothly, so there's no way that I would not give Doodly a 5-star rating. For the pricing, I am thankful that the $67 one-time payment is still out in the market and because I am not upset with what I paid, I think it's worth the money and I can definitely keep this platform for a long time. I was only disappointed in the beginning because I thought I will have colored images, but the ability to upload your own, to outsource elements has solved this disappointment, so I'm okay, I'm good, I will still give it a perfect score. Finally, in terms of its effectiveness, to be honest, there's something about whiteboard animation that makes people want to continue watching. Most probably because a lot of people are just interested to watch sketching, drawing, anything related to arts and see the outcome of it. And this is the exact effect that Doodly has achieved. I just hope there's more improvements in the built-in illustrations of Doodly because now there's a lot of competitors with better drawings. Beyond, for example, has some really great illustrations and the characters can even move. But overall, I still like it and it's still interesting to watch, so I will give it a 4-star rating. That's the end of our review. If you want us to review some other applications out there, feel free to send us a request here or in our Facebook or Instagram account. And again, if you think this is helpful, give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out an update.